The strange case of Jane X begins somewhere in East Texas and so far has tended to end here in the Hunt County Courthouse in Greenville. Jane was picked up last Wednesday by Greenville police wandering around in the south part of town. She's now in the Hunt County Jail, has been there since Wednesday, and will say nothing to anyone. Hunt County Sheriff's Office is trying to reach anyone who knows anything about Jane, but according to Sheriff R.W. Wood, she will say nothing and they know very little about the girl. Do you know what she's doing in Greenville and how she got here? No, uh, she, we have a bus ticket, I believe, that came from Texarkana here, and probably she came in on a bus from Texarkana. Well, what are you going to do with the girl now? Well, we don't know. We don't know why she's juvenile, and the juvenile officers are working with her, and uh, we need to try to find some identification for her. She's running for something. We don't know what. Today, I tried talking myself to Jane, telling her that if she had a valid reason for not talking to authorities here in Greenville, that I would preserve her secret. But Jane would not even talk to me. Is there anyone that you would talk to in this area? No. Not even if they promise not to tell anyone? No. You have a Dallas address in your address book. Uh, will you, the, the word Dallas is in your address book. Will you talk to someone from Dallas? No. Is there anyone anywhere that you can talk to? No, I'm in here. I'll tell you that one. has been able to find out about Jane is what he can learn from what she had with her. A beaded purse and a dress book from which she tore the addresses out before anyone could read them. Some aftershave, some hair conditioner, a razor, a piece of comb, or a box of matches, and the clothes she was wearing. They're still trying to find out about Jane X. This is Phil Reynolds, Channel 8 News at the Hunt County Courthouse in Greenville. We go into the 70s with the same problems that we've had in the 60s. Uh, a lot of them are hard to solve. It's my judgment that uh, in addition to or along with the problems that we will continue to have, that we will see and should see an increased emphasis on uh, uh, our getting along with each other. You can call it law and order, you can call it uh, campus unrest, whatever we like to call it, but this will continue to see receive our attention and probably more attention than we've been giving it in the past. In addition to that, uh, I think that we will see a great increase in the significance that we place upon in our environment. The pollution of the air that we breathe and the water that we drink must receive uh, more attention than we have been giving given it. Um, these things are so vital to all of us and yet so difficult for us to understand, but in the big city areas along the coast of our country. Uh, particularly now, this has become a significant problem, and those of us in the interior of our country must also be working on it.
Annabelle's Annabelle washing. I see the night there. Annabelle, have you ever gone hungry and slept on the streets of Cleburne? I, I, I didn't sleep on the streets, but I really did sleep in the car. I never had this plane slip out, you know, out in the street. You know, out in the street. Just laying out in the street. Have you ever wanted for food? I mean, have you been have you been hungry? Well, I was one time. Uh, what about what about the other times? Uh, have you have you been hungry for food? Well, sometimes I need food. You know, sometimes I really do. Hold it, Sherman. You said something to the effect before you didn't have to tell the black community constantly that you love them. How do you plan to let all of the community know that you're caring about them? Well, I love you, Dallasites, black, white, yellow, brown, whatever color. And, and uh, I don't have to tell you that, and I don't have to tell my wife every morning when I get up at breakfast that I love her because she knows I do. And I don't think we should use the city council to uh, tell the people in any community that we love them weekly. <laughs> <laughs> the, what is your reaction to some of the technical arguments that some of the councilmen have given against this particular resolution, but for others? Hogwash. What basis do you think the council should make resolutions? I think anything that is of public concern, of interest to the community, uh, any councilman has a right to offer a resolution. And an appointment of a resolutions committee by the mayor or, or uh, by the council, notwithstanding, uh, I still think we've got that right.
in this decade of the 70s, in a time when there's strife and turmoil in this land, uh, I know him to be a man of reason, of fairness, of justice, and uh, one who's totally committed to, to dedicate uh, the days, the years of his life to enriching the lives of all of us in Texas and uh, to help uh, these United States in these troubled times. And I support him. Uh, I told him uh, that I would either endorse him uh, or denounce him. Uh, whichever he felt would be most helpful to him. And uh, at least up to this point, he's felt like an endorsement would be the most helpful, and I am very pleased to do it.